What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with a closer look at the Y3 Retro Boost in the black colorway from Y3's Fall Winter 2015 collection. Built atop the comfortable Pure Boost sole, the Retro Boost mixes Yoji Yamamoto's high fashion aesthetic with one of Adidas' most successful new silhouettes. The Fall Winter collection began rolling out in July of 2015, with the Retro Boost retailing at $350. Now let's get into the shoe. On the lateral side, black neoprene composes a majority of the upper with fused paneling around the edge of the toe box. Black elastic runs over the forefoot and features suede paneling with debossed Yoji Yamamoto branding, as well as heritage-inspired plastic eyelets. Black wrinkled leather accents the heel in front of a nylon heel strap. Lastly, the Pure Boost sole is placed under a black plastic midsole that wraps around the entire shoe. The medial side features a small piece of wrinkled leather at the toe to provide structure to the toe box, while the suede panel at the midfoot lacks the debossed Yoji Yamamoto branding. At the back of the shoe, black neoprene wraps around the heel behind the iconic Retro Boost nylon heel strap, which features rubberized Adidas stripes. Black plastic composes a structural midsole atop the cushioning from the Pure Boost. At the top of the shoe, black neoprene composes the toe box, which is accented by a hit of wrinkled leather on the medial side. Black wax laces run over an elastic strap, which wraps over the forefoot and features rubberized Y3 branding. The inside of the back of the shoe is lined with a soft, black smooth leather, with gray suede lining the heel for added traction. The innovative Pure Boost insole is used, allowing the foot to rest directly on top of the Boost cushioning. The standard Pure Boost outsole is composed of black rubber webbing. The black Y3 box includes two Y3 branded nylon dust bags and an additional set of black waxed laces. And that will wrap up this closer look at the Y3 Retro Boost in the black colorway from Fall Winter 2015. Although the retail price is nearly triple the price of the Pure Boost, the quality of the materials and construction is top notch. An incredible neoprene composes the upper with excellent leather and suede accents. For sizing, I recommend going down a half size from your Pure Boost size. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the Y3 Retro Boost, and until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.